Hello, it's Mr. Famous Actor again. The story I'm about to tell did not happen to me personally, but I think it's such a quintessential Cool Dudes Club story that I would be remiss if I didn't share it with you. The story was told to me by Larissa Olnick, TV's Alex Mack, who herself had heard the story from her manager. Before I begin, let me make a disclaimer. If you have a pet iguana or are friends with someone with a pet iguana, you may want to turn off this video right now. The story goes that Patrick Duffy, who played Frank Lambert on Step by Step, was not the producer's first choice for that role, or even their second or third choice. You see, shortly before the show Dallas ended its run, which was around February of 1991, Duffy developed a strange illness that made him smell like rotten egg foo young. He consulted countless doctors, but none of them could determine the cause of the illness, though each agreed that the smell he emitted was exactly like rotten egg foo young almost as if Duffy had spent a week living in the dumpster of a Chinese restaurant. As news of Duffy's illness traveled through Hollywood, he became worried he would never work again. Around the time that Step by Step was going into pre-production, Duffy visited the Cool Dudes Club compound in Calabasas and begged them to somehow secure him the lead on a television show, preferably a sitcom, since he wanted to show off his comedic chops. After a long meeting, it was decided that a pre-friends Matthew Perry who then was only a part-time actor sidelining his muscle for the Cool Dudes Club, would pay a visit on behalf of Patrick Duffy to the actor who was currently cast as Frank Lambert, Jack Wagner. A fax was sent to Wagner from the Cool Dudes, letting him know that Perry was coming over that Thursday night to discuss, quote, proper grooming of a Rhodesian Ridgeback, which was code for talking top-secret Cool Dudes business. For reasons I don't have time to go into, the Cool Dudes used the discussion of care for different dog breeds as cover for their dealings. FYI, if you ever get a fax that mentions the quote, bowel functions of a bull mastiff, well, you better put a gun in your mouth and say goodnight, because mister, you are toast. So anyway, Matthew Perry is in Jack Wagner's living room, and he's laying out his proposal. If Wagner will step aside and give Patrick Duffy the part of Frank Lambert, the Cool Dudes Club will give him another top 10 hit like 1984's All I Need. I've heard this before, Matthew, says Wagner. I got this guy Teddy Riley to write something for me called New Jack Wagner Swing. It was terrible. I don't make dance music, okay? I make rock and roll. Listen, Jack, says Matthew, a hint of frustration already in his voice. If you don't want another top 10 hit, what do you want? Because let me tell you, it's pretty much been decided at this point that Patrick Duffy is Frank Lambert. Is that so, says Wagner. Matthew, I don't know who you think you are, but I'm Jack fucking Wagner. I was Frisco Jones on General Hospital, okay? You are just a lackey. Actually, I'm an actor, says Perry, and a fine one at that. This business is unpredictable, Wagner. Who knows? Someday I may be ten times the star you are. Bullshit, says Wagner. You're just a pissant with a sneer. You'll be back waiting tables by next year. At this point, furious, Perry sees Wagner's iguana laying on a tree branch in his cage. Is that your iguana, he asks? Yeah, that's Dimitri. He's got a better chance of being a star than you. Now get out of my house. Suddenly, Perry pulls out a Glock 9mm from his pant waist. Don't move, Jack, he says. He walks over to the iguana cage and puts the gun inside. Jack, I want you to apologize to Dimitri for what I'm about to do to him. Wagner goes silent. I want you to apologize to Dimitri for what I'm about to do to him, shouts Perry. Matthew, listen, I'm sorry. I got defensive before. It's just, you're saying I have to give up this Frank Lambert part and I really wanted to show that I can do more than drama. That I can be funny, too. Come on, Jack, says Perry. You know there's nothing funny about Step by Step. Matthew, please, just leave Dimitri out of this. I need to know, says Perry, where his head stops and his neck begins. Because I want to do this with one shot. I'm not a monster. Look, Matthew, Duffy can have the Frank Lambert part. Just please take the gun out of Dimitri's cage. I've never killed an iguana before, says Perry. I can't tell head from neck. Matthew, come on, I'm giving the part to Patrick. Oh, Duffy's going to be Frank Lambert. That was already decided. But I'm killing Dimitri here because you've forgotten your place, Wagner. 1966, what does that year mean to you? Matthew, I'm begging you, just please take your gun out of Dimitri's cage. Matthew clicks the safety off on his Glock. 1966 is the year the Cool Dudes Club took over this town. The studio system was dead, and there was a power vacuum. And two men and one woman, whose names we know but can never say, took over. And it has been smooth sailing since. It may look like chaos to the outside world, but that's because they can never know about this thing of ours. This club. 
Right? Right, says Wagner with tears in his eyes. You know the rules, Jack. You take the parts you're given. If they want you to play a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle on the Santa Monica Pier, you're going to be out there tomorrow at 5 a.m. practicing your roundhouse kicks and saying, Cowabunga, dude. I know, says Wagner, now weeping. Harry pulls his gun out of the iguana cage and the rest is history. Messed up, huh? Oh, and the capper? Apparently, according to Larissa, Jack Wagner and Matthew Perry now own a vineyard in Calistoga. Make no mistake, there's nothing cool about the Cool Dudes Club.